King of Sports. You jump on for wrestling. Hi, everybody. It's time for New Japan Strong, and we are on the road to detonation. Alex Kozlov and Kevin Kelly will be calling all the action. It broke down last week. A war between Rocky Romero and his pals against Team Filthy. Tonight, they all collide in an eight-man tag. Well, it's definitely going to be a war. I mean, with the likes of J.R. Kratos and just the whole Team Filthy, I mean, I... Unmatchable. Rocky, Jeff Cobb, PJ Black, and Fred Rosser will certainly bring the fight. It is going to be a whole lot of fun here on the road to detonation. But we kick off with a singles match. They couldn't settle the differences between the teams. Let's see what happens when the participants go one on one. Opening match, Jippen, Ippon Shobo, Okonaimas. We've seen the tag teams battle a couple of different times and their record stands at one and one. So now Logan Regal will do battle with Clark Connors here in our opener. He'll be accompanied by his brother Sterling, one of your favorite teams here on New Japan No, I, I truly love the Sterling brothers. You know, they uh, certainly have been the, uh, impressive. The Regal twins, see, it's Regal twins. Regal twins, yes, I mean, I, how can you tell? Oh, cool. Sterling, yeah, Logan, Regal. Logan! Are they twins? Yes, they're identical twins. That's why we can't tell one from the other. Well, I, I, look, Kevin, I, I'm excited uh, as we begin this road to detonation here. We're about to see uh, a night full, with full-blown action, strong style. And there's no better strong style action than by the man, the captain himself, Clark Connors. And Clark has the DKC watching his back. Right to the middle of the ring, like it's his. You know, he, just looking at his body language, with him motioning, as if he's carrying something on his shoulders. Like he's got a big chip on his shoulder. So we'll see what happens. These two men, of course, were both part of the Lions Break Crown Tournament that Clark Connors was victorious in. Look at the intensity and the focus on the face of Clark Connors. That's what I love about him. But he's got no easy task in Logan Regal. Did I, did I get that? Yes, you did. Impression, impressive. So Regal taking the wrist lock quickly here on Clark Connors. We'll see Juice Robinson return to New Japan strong in tag team action with ACH against Adrian Quest and Jordan Clearwater. And then that big eight man tag team main event we told you about. Born out of what we saw last week. And you got a feeling fireworks will explode in our main event. You know, I, I, they're exchanging holds here, trying to uh, wrestle each other. I don't think that has, that's smart gameplay against a, a, a strong Clark Connors. The kind of training that he's had at the LA Dojo with the direction of Shibata. I, 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 he's, too, he's too good at that. I think what Logan is going to have to do is be more elusive, be faster, use his high-flying skills to evade the intense and vicious attacks by Clark Connors. I'm sure Clark would love nothing more than to eventually emerge from the black trunks and black boots of the young lion. But he really certainly has that no-frills attitude. I don't see fancy costuming with Clark Connors when that time comes. You know, to be honest with you, you know what would be super cool is if he never got out of the black trunks. I know that's not a thing, that's not a thing, but he is a very kind of no-nonsense, pure business kind of guy. You know, he's there to do business, to, to unleash pain on his opponents. I, I mean, I say stay in the trunks. Yep. 
Just let the people focus on what you bring to the table. You don't need to be fancy about it. Clark Connors drives Logan Regal back to the corner. In fact, we refer to Clark Connors as the captain. It was actually Katsuyori Shibata who first told Clark Connors that he was the captain of the LA Dojo. I mean, for good reason. I mean, he saw something in Clark. I mean, Clark is very focused and very dedicated to his training. And that is the reason that he won the Lions Break uh, tournament. I mean, uh, he's, he's definitely a breakout star, and we've been seeing him in the last few weeks. Just bring the action. Strong style. Well, while we've been certainly singing the praises well-deserved for Clark Connors, Logan Regal has done a nice job of controlling the pace here and staying within himself. Yeah, and with puts, down with puts, tackle. Yeah, puts Clark down with the tackle here on the road to detonation. The final tour of 2020, a oh. New Japan Strong change of direction. Careful with Clark uh, with uh, the misdirections. You know, he's real good at that. Being able to tackle uh, Logan, and now he's got him in a corner and hard chops to the chest of Logan. Oh, and then uh, look at the... Look at, the, look at the marks on the chest of Logan. You can see the, the toll that it's taken. Oh, oh the back chop. Now I, I uh, just. Cover. Now that's the one where I go, oh, that no. move should be outlawed. No. Well, it, it doesn't have to be outlawed uh, because it's not going to kill you. It's just going to anger the hell out of you. There's nothing worse than being absolutely angry and not being able to do anything about it because your opponent is still on top of you. And Clark Connors is still on top of Logan Regal. Full body slam. It's just demoralizing. And charging, looking for the spear, instead gets rolled up out of nowhere on a near fall. Oh, unable to catch the, the boot right to the head. The DKC over in the corner of Clark Connors. Logan was accompanied by his brother Sterling. Those four men had met in a pair of tag team matches in recent weeks. And the record, of, as we said, one and one. Elbow knockdown and a kick out at two. Now, I'm not, I'm not counting out Logan by any means. He's very well built and very skilled opponent. But I have to say that I, I'm putting my money on Clark Connors. Right now, he's in full control, absolute control of this ring and of Logan. After the snap suplex, just a one count. He's I can see uh, by that nod that he's appreciating the heart and tenacity of Logan. But he's not, he's not letting him breathe right now. He's another, not letting him breathe. He's staying on top of him. Another snap suplex and another near fall. Logan getting worn down here, worn out. Ooh, just slaps him across the face. Trying another snap suplex. This time, Logan Regal putting the brakes on. And picks him up, but not quite. And Logan with a snap suplex Five of his own. Elapsed. Five minutes. Uh, this is what Logan needs, a little bit of time to recover. A little bit of time is all he needs. That caught Clark Connors by surprise. And the DKC looking on vested interest in this singles match. Oh, and takes a hard chop. And Logan returns an elbow of his own. And they're trading chops. And this is when you see, you know, the, the heart of these men going, you know, about seven minutes into this match with all the things that have been endured. Able to catch him with her Karana. Takes him over. Clark ends up on the apron. Watch this now. Could be high risk. Opportunity for Logan Regal. Oh, and he catches him on the apron. Driving Clark Connors down on the edge of the ring. The back of Clark Connors' head bouncing off the steel beam that runs between the ring posts. That, that part of the ring is uh, so unforgiving. Two. And you know, that really Three. even the odds for Logan. Four. Both men Five. having a hard time getting up. Logan Six, barely able to seven. pull himself up to the ring. And he's climbing to the top. Another high-risk maneuver. Let's see if he connects. On oh, uh, Clark able to move out of the way and tries to go for the spear. But Logan catches him with a jump and neck breaker and second, covers him with urgency. Second time Regal has avoided oh. the spear and nearly gets the victory. 
You can see the frustration on Logan not able to put down Clark Connors. Catches him with a knee breaker. Immediately goes for the pin. Here we go. Almost had him. Now look at the chest of Logan. Yeah, it is blistered from Three the chops. Three remaining in the match. Three minutes. Just a 10-minute time limit. And there is three minutes remaining. He's calling for the finish. Will he be able to connect with that DDT? Clark pushes him off of himself. Tries to go for a German, but Clark holds on to the rope. Elbow, hard elbows. Completely knocked. Oh, and he catches him with a spear. There's the spear. And you know what's coming. The Boston, the, the, the most vicious Boston crab in the business. Again, won by submission in the tag team encounter with this exact same hold, and he's got it locked in. Logan is very close to the rope. What Clark Connors needs to do is pull him a little bit closer to the middle of the ring, or, or look, there you go, there yes, you go. Yes, and immediately having to tap out. Once he dragged him away from the ropes, Time, Logan Ringo knew he was had. Seconds. Here is your Clark winner, Connors Clark getting Clark better Connor. and more confidence with each and every week. Once again, your winner of the match, Clark We're seeing a Connor. superstar in the making. He's carrying that chip on his shoulder. So next week on the road to detonation, we will see the DKC versus Sterling Regal. But here in the kickoff, the road to detonation tour, Clark Connors gets the victory over Logan Regal. DK, yeah. get your ass in here. That's all I was doing, dude. We're done in the tag. I did a little singles now. Woo, it's two and over for me. Your turn coming up, huh? Yeah, that's right. We're right. gearing up. I'm gonna get it. Keep our roll going. Yeah. Keep it going. Yeah, baby. If you don't know, now you know, baby. Let's go. <laughs> Kevin, I'm so excited because the juice is back and attacked him with ACH. And we're gonna see the very exciting Adrian Quest and Jordan Clearwater. How do you feel about this one? Again, you've got Adrian Quest and Jordan Clearwater, two very impressive athletes, both looking for that big signature victory. And you, if you can get a win over a pair of veterans like ACH and Juice Robinson, then the sky's the limit. We'll see what happens. Uh, it's a great test for, for this tag team, absolutely. Man, both these dudes look so cool. Show them! about the fact that each both men, uh, Clearwater and Adrian Quest have business interests outside of professional wrestling. Adrian Quest designing the great streetwear brand Bermuda, while Jordan Clearwater, if your finances are in rough shape, if you need some stock advice, if you want to put your money in the right safe havens, Instead of burying it in coffee cans in your backyard, you need to talk to Jordan Clearwater. What's wrong with coffee cans? That's and old school, I know. Cash. Every time we go for coffee, you say, how much for cash? My father still hides his money uh, uh, under the mattress. He doesn't trust the banks. The first time I met ACH was in Chicago almost 10 years ago in the Joliet, Illinois native Juice Robinson, the tag team partner. You know, a much more mature ACH. We've seen him have success all around the world. A very successful and impressive run in Ring of Honor and NXT. And now he makes his way here to New Japan Strong. And the Juice! The very flamboyant shoes. I mean, look at him. So entertaining to watch him. Juice with an homage to a pair of favorite sons of Julia, Illinois, the Blues Brothers. You know, I never got to see that movie. It must have been before 94. Yes, it was. When I, that's when I came here. I, I don't watch anything. I, you know, I, I just I move just forward. Cool. You know, let's stay current. But, you know, it's a nice homage. I mean, it looks good. It, flamboyant, that's him. It's cool. I think I'm talking too much. No, you're doing fine. So ACH and Juice Robinson will team up against Jordan Clearwater and Adrian Quest. That was a cute little uh, butt bump. And the bell sounds, and we are underway. 
Juice, a former IWGP heavyweight tag team champion with his partner David Finley, who came within an eyelash of defeating Kenta last week to become that rights holder certificate for the future U.S. heavyweight title shot. Oh, my God. It, it, I mean, he, he – we saw the visual pin. He technically beat, well, not technically. He beat, he had cancer beat. So and, disappointing. And speculation abounds about what will be next for Kenta as Jordan Clearwater left arm in the wrist lock here by Juice Robinson, who made his anticipated debut here on New Japan Strong a few weeks ago and was very impressive as he takes him over. And now we'll bar the left arm. And, uh, I mean, what a great win for New Japan Strong to have Juice on the show. I mean, when the Juice is on the show, the ratings are up. Because I certainly tune in to watch. Well, I have no choice. I have to commentate on it. That's right. It's our job. And what a pleasure it is each and every week getting to sit here with you. No, it's a, it's a pleasure. Uh, spe by, by the way, what's the cash situation on there? We'll talk about that later. The shoulder tackle puts him down. Clear water. Back on his feet, hip toss. Clearwater with a high hip toss, but Juice kicks him off. And an arm jab by Clearwater, and he's back to the arm. So Jordan Clearwater trained by Roger Ruffin and Carl Anderson in Cincinnati, and it was Carl who gave Jordan the advice to leave the Ohio area, travel the country, open the door for him in Southern California. He's been part of Championship Wrestling from Hollywood. And now gets the opportunity here with New Japan Strong. I would say good advice from Machine Gun. No, it's great advice. You, you want to l l leave your local area to gain the experience uh, of different regions. And coming to California, there's such a, an eclectic mix of talents from all around the world here. You, you get a little bit of everything. So. Adrian Quest got tagged in by Clearwater and ACH by Juice. So now the tag team partners of the men who began will start their journey here towards victory. Collar and elbow lock up and a headlock by the King of Bermuda. That's B-U-R-R-M-U-D-A. If you're searching on B-U-R-R-M-U-D-A. That's what I just said. Side headlock takeover by Adrian Quest. And a tight headlock. Keeping ACH grounded. Good. You gotta be careful. Both these men are high flyers and very elusive. ACH shoots him into the corner and is met with an elbow. And he goes to fly with a backflip. What incredible agi agility. Catches uh, ACH's boot and ACH arm drag, but the head scissors take over. Puts ACH down and a drop kick. Good follow up by Adrian Quest. Springboards. Oh, and he catches him with a crisp back elbow. Tries to hook the leg, doesn't even barely get to one before ACH is able to kick out. You mentioned the maturity of ACH, and I think that that is a, a really good component of something that he's added to his arsenal is maturation, and from there, making fewer mistakes. Well, uh, that, that's the thing. As you mature, you, you, you look at your style, and you, 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 you make the, the correct adjustments. You know, When you're young, you throw all caution to the wind, and you're a risk taker, and you're reckless. You know, he's really, he, you can see his style is a little bit more methodical. He knows where to pick his spots. And now taking ACH back to the corner, and there's a tag. So now Juice Robinson, legal. A Adrian Quest trying to free himself. The back. Wide open, and Juice Robinson leaping down on top of Adrian Quest. Here we go, suplex. Holding him up in the air, upside down for already four seconds, and slams him down. That doesn't feel good. So flamboyant is Juice Robinson. Oh, oh and a, a crusher there, the senton. <laughs> ACH amused by, uh, by, by cover to the attacks of Juice. Again, not having a crowd around, you could really hear the conversation that goes on inside the ring. There's always a little bit of trash talk, and there's always sound from partners. It's it's such a unique element that we don't always get to hear. No, it's true. I mean, it's it's kind of uh, intimate. You know, you you get to see men beat each other up, and you see them in their most raw forms. Cover and a kick out. You got this, Adrian. 
Well, Adrian Quest needs five a minutes tag. Five minutes Five minutes. And at the five-minute mark, ACH and Juice Robinson certainly are in control. Keeping Adrian Quest close to his corner with a hard body slam. Another tag. And Juice Robinson comes back in. I'm right here, Adrian. Another suplex Goes from... For another. Oh, and Adrian able to kick him, kick out of that, but not quite. Lands behind Juice, unable to drop kick him off of himself. Will he be able to make that tag to the fresher man in Jordan Clearwater? And he does, and Jordan is in the house, clearing house with hard clotheslines and a back elbow, and he's on fire, and a jumping neck breaker. Jordan Clearwater coming in, was frustrated on the apron for what had to feel like an eternity. Now the running Bulldog, got it. Bulldog. Knocking ACH off the apron as he has control over Juice Robinson and a big spine buster. Shades of Carl the Machine Gun Anderson. Two, oh, and a kick out, that, that was, was close. so close. Boy, what a win that would be for Jordan Clearwater. Strap a rocket ship to his back if he beats Juice Robinson here. He's on the doorstep of victory. And he's calling for the switch in Midas touch. Will he be able to connect as he's waiting for Juice to get up on his feet. And he's up and he goes for it, but Juice ducks out of the way. And this gets face planted. Oh, so close. You know, I gotta say, Jordan Clearwater is so talented, so amazing. I feel like he, he hasn't had an opportunity to really get the important W, and he needs that tonight. The tag to ACH, the tag to Adrian Quest. And Adrian Quest, who absorbed a lot of punishment, comes in focused and determined and knocks the ACH down. Underneath the clothesline. Head scissors into an arm breaker and goes for the Mahistra roll up. Two. Not quite. Ducks the punches of ACH. A few of his own. ACH catches him with the Inziguri. And now ACH hooks Adrian Quest. Oh, wow, flips him over with a hurricanrana. Wait a minute, got a trip too. Wow, that was so innovative. Off that suplex, able to turn himself over. And catches him with a high knee. High, high kick on, 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 the, on the face of ACH. And looks like he's going for the spinning DDT off the top rope. Careful trying to get his position. Oh. ACH just slings him out to the center. Oh, brain buster. Brain buster. Vicious. Brain buster. One, two. It is over. It. Juice able to Time, guard that pin by holding Clearwater from breaking. Here are your winners, Juice Robinson. Well, and what we a saw today was C the experience. Of two very experienced individuals. Yeah, Juice Robinson coming in, realizing Jordan Clearwater again, your winners, would be coming Juice in to Robinson break up that pin. But instead, the veterans get the victory here on New Japan Strong. We're on the road to detonation, and we've got a huge eight-man tag team match coming up. It is going to be wild, no doubt, it, after what we saw last week with Danny Limelight betraying Rocky Romero and throwing in with Team Filthy. We will see what happens coming up next. All right, that's what this show's about, baby. That's what NJPW Strong is all about. Hey, CH, get in here. Haven't seen you for a while. It's been a while, brother. Haven't seen you for a while. Man, that's what this is about. Dare I say, we're veterans of this? Vets. We are veterans. We're vets. And those were two young, hot, <sighs> baby faces. Two young, hot weber snappers. Yeah. And you know what? They pushed us. And that was good. And that's what this is about. Old guys, young guys getting a chance, mixing us together, mixing, mixing us together and seeing what happens. Who knows? Yeah. If Jordan Clearwater would have beat my ass tonight with a spine buster, whoo. Who knows where that would have put him? Ooh. Ooh. Stay tuned! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> After a 19 month hiatus, New Japan Pro Wrestling returns in front of a live audience in the USA. Featuring Juice Robinson, David Finley, Rin Narita, Shota Umino, 
Hikuleo, Jay White, Carl Fredericks, Mark Connor, Alex Coffin, TJP, Fred Rosser, Brody King, Chris Dickinson, Leo Rush, JR Kratos, Tom Lawler, Carl Anderson, and Doc Gallo, John Moxley, and more. August 14th, 2021 at Los Angeles Coliseum. Tickets on sale now. What'd you have to? Oh, I'm checking out new merch on Token Shop Global. Oh yeah, they put out new products like every, every month. month. I just got a t-shirt. I got a beautiful towel. I just got boxers. Oh yeah? I'm wearing them right now. I just ordered a mask. Good, the sooner the better, because I don't want to see your ugly face. I love Token Shop Global. I as well. The stars of today and the legends of the past come together on your smartphone. NJPW Collection. Pick up cards from special draft events. Use your collected cards to form your own faction or exchange them for limited edition special cards. Check in live from venues or remotely from home to get special tickets and items. Add all of New Japan Pro Wrestling to your collection now. NJPW Collection. Folks, our main event is next, an eight-man tag. It promises to be mayhem, but let's take you back to last week and show you how we got here. Am I looking for redemption from Russ Taylor? Of course. Russ Taylor, the tag team partner of Kratos, part of Team Filthy, attacking Cobb after the bell. Black well, Cobb hasn't taken enough damage. Now Filthy Tom Lawler gets in the ring. Since I've come back to New Japan Pro Wrestling, I had a goal. And that goal was to make a name for myself. I walked out of Lions Break Collision undefeated. Now I'm back. And now I'm going to stake my claim as to why I should be at the top of the card. I noticed that they've been uh, a little cohesive unit going on with Russ Taylor, Kratos, and uh, Tom Lawler. So I, I got Rocky Romero on board. Uh, I got Fred, PJ. They were a part of a very strong faction. Their teamwork with uh, myself and Rocky's teamwork is going to be phenomenal. None of these guys are on the same level as me and my cohorts. Jeff Cobb, PJ, Fred, whoever else is on that team, I really don't give a damn who it is because at the end of the night, you're gonna be doing what everybody else is doing while I'm out partying, and that's sleeping. I beat Kratos, gonna beat Russ Taylor, gonna beat Tom Lawler. I prefer to just beat all of them up. We know exactly what Team Filthy is all about. Uh, I've seen in the last couple of weeks what they're capable of. But the part that shocked me was that man right there, Danny Limelight, yeah. betraying Rocky Romero. We knew that Russ Taylor and J.R. Kratos were already part of Team Filthy. But obviously, Tom Lawler has been in the ear of Danny Limelight and got him to betray Rocky Romero. So an eight-man oh, tag team match has been signed here for this week's main event. Danny Limelight! Hope you're proud of yourself, young man. Satan himself is gracing us here in New Japan Strong. And the filthy one. I mean, you, you gotta ask yourself the question, was that the right move this early in his career for Daniel Limelight? I mean, it's, it's clear that the faction of Team Filthy is, is, is looking strong, but I mean, is this what you wanna do when the likes of Rocky Romero takes you under their wing? Is that the right move? Well, there is no going back, that's for sure. And the men who came to Rocky's aid now, all united under one common enemy, going after Team Filthy. Jeff Cobb and J.R. Kratos 
battered each other. Oh, this is gonna be an exciting team. Fred Rosser, PJ Black coming out to even up the odds. And now these four men united to settle the score. We, we saw the other week a very greedy and violent match between Fred Rosser and filthy Tom Lawler. And here they are, still standing. I didn't think I was gonna see them for weeks after that match. Well, PJ Black standing up for what was right, and what was right was going after Team Filthy. So what kind of strategy do these four men have? Everybody looks like they're ready to go. Team Filthy is, and oh, they're, they're turn them ready. loose, folks. Oh, And look at Team Filthy escaping, running away. Very, very cowardly. I mean, I don't think they even need to do that. They didn't need to, they need to run. It's, it's more of a mind game, honestly. Mr. No Days Off. Yeah. So Team Filthy retreated to the safety of the floor of the arena here as they're putting together a strategy. I mean, Kevin, uh, there are two men here that are no strangers to each other, and that is Fred Rosser and P.J. Black. At one point in early in their careers, they used to be part of one of the most dominant factions known as the Nexus. And it looks like they're taking a page out of the Nexus playbook, Team Filthy is. Oh, look at that. That is, that is very interesting. It was very interesting. Engulfing. Got to be having flashbacks, PJ Black and Fred Rosser. Here we go. Here we go. Let's go. Well, they're surrounded, no doubt. Here we go. And everybody's trading punches, and all hell is broken loose. And this is how they start the match. This I, got, is, I got a feeling they're setting the tone for what's going to be a wild, out of control eight man tag team main event here on the road to detonation. And Jeff Cobb is in the ring with the defected, and I don't mean defected, but he defected from uh, Rocky Romero joining Tim Filthy. And it's a hard shot by Jeff Cobb. I'm sure Rocky Romero would love to get his hands on Danny Limelight, and yes, indeed, the tag. And a hard stomp to the gut of Danny Limelight. Listen, Rocky runs across a lot of wrestlers, right? And a lot of young guys say, oh, I would love to learn from you, Rocky. Rocky was the one who reached out and said, I see something great in Danny Limelight. How does Limelight repay him? By betraying Rocky and joining Team Filthy. Well, you, you never know, you know, when you open your heart to uh, up and coming talent. And he obviously saw something in Daniel Limelight because he's so talented. He takes him under his wing. And Daniel Limelight, very early in his career, decides to turn his oh, back on him. Oh, look at this. So the wow. ta tag to Did Jeff Cobb. That? Yep. It started in the hands of Rocky and ends up in the hands of Jeff Cobb. Well, this is what you asked for, and now you're going to pay. Oh, wait, wait a, a minute. minute. <laughs> I think you're st staying up. Well, wow, this is this is really impressive, really cool too, and not comfortable oh, for Danny Limelight. And Danny Limelight, who's hung upside down for what has to feel like an oh eternity, all the blood rushing to his head. Now the tag to Mr. No Days Off, and Fred Rosser now will be in control of the vertical suplex. I wonder if Danny Limelight is there, even able to contemplate whether he made the right decision of turning his back on Rocky Romero, because right now he's certainly paying for it. Here's a cover and a count of two and a kick out. He'll stay right there, aggressively going after the pin. And that really wears off on you, you know, the, these consecutive pins. It takes energy to kick out, especially when all your limbs are being hooked. Fred Rosser immediately stepping in between Danny Limelight and a potential tag at the corner, so Limelight's gonna have to fight through Fred Rosser to get out of harm's way, but he hits the ropes and Rosser immediately puts him down. Rosser, a much bigger and stronger uh, competitor, able to keep Daniel Limelight grounded. Daniel Limelight trying to reach out for his corner, but Rosser, all too experienced, not allowing that to happen. Takes him over with the neck, with the back, uh, with the back elbow, Excuse And me. the elbow drop, and he'll again go for the pin here. This is what you get from Fred Rosser. Straightforward, intense fight. He gives you no room to breathe, no space to operate. Yeah, he's on, he crowds you. 
you know. Or he just tosses him towards his corner. It's like he wants he wants Lawler to get tagged in. You know, as you remember, they, they faced, faced off against each other and they nearly destroyed each other. And immediately, Rosser cracks Lawler. Lawler got tagged in. And give these men 60 minutes to uh, fight against each other. Wait a I mean, minute. They're still not done. Rosser trapped. You see his leg wrapped in that bottom rope, and that's leaving him open now. And Lawler is taking advantage of this situation. Oh, and the Rosser able to catch him with a clothesline on the apron. All he could do with his leg trap there was to wait a minute, wait a minute, now waist lock. This is a dangerous position. Now Lawler is on, on the inside of the ring and he grabs that chin lock. And now waist lock and Rosser dragging him back into the ring. Sherman him over from the apron through this middle and top rope. So versatile is Lawler. Well, Tom Lawler is a different breed of cat. That's one way to describe him from, for sure. But that's not to say that he's not one of the most dangerous men in that ring. Uh, he certainly found a crew of like-minded individuals as the powerhouse J.R. Kratos gets tagged in. Stomping away at Rosser in the corner. Oh, and a hard, hard punch on Rosser. Rosser tries to fight back, and the big man right on top of Rosser. Oh, and a hard chop, completely taking Rosser off of his feet as he rolls, rolls out. This wasn't the fight that Fred Rosser thought he was going to have, but Five coming to the aid of Rocky, standing up for what's right as Limelight and Russ Taylor go after Fred Rosser on the floor. I mean, well, while, uh, while the team of Rosser were talking to the ref, Daniel Limelight and Lawler were taking advantage, having their way with Rosser, and is able to Power suplex him over the apron to the middle of the Two, ring. and a kick out. Barely, Rosser able to kick out. Rosser is a little bit close to his corner. Kratos needs to take him back. And he does. Drags him back to the blue corner. The touch to Russ Taylor. And so Russ Taylor, the double tough technician, will now go to work here on Fred Rosser. Oh, God, that, that's a... Leg hammerlock. I mean, the way that he ties you up. Russ is so good at that. You know, I, yeah, there, it's so hard to move in these positions. One wrong move, and you will be the reason that you dislocate, dislocate your own shoulder because your limbs are caught in the web of the body of Russ Taylor. Russ Taylor hearing it from referee Jeremy Marcus, the fish hook illegal, and calls for the break. Rosser breaks and nearly oh, gets so the tag. Close. Taylor being aware of that. European uppercuts, Rosser back into his corner. And Rosser just in desperation tried to reach over to his partners. And now the turncoat, oh, Danny Limelight. That kicks, kicks his face off. I think Rosser's knocked. Might be oh, two and a kick out. There. Stays right on top, another tag, and Romero's frustration is building. And a tag to Kratos. Team Filthy is not giving Fred Rosser a break, not a second to breathe. I mean, this is not a good place for Rosser. Two he's and another kick out. Far away from his corner, and he's got the big man, Kratos, on top of him. How much does he let, uh, how much does Rosser have left in him? Will he even be able to get the tag? I mean, he's fighting back, he's trying. He's fighting back, he's got heart left in him. But can you overpower the power? Oh, did you hear that? The, 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 the way that he connected with that forum, my God. And now Kratos has Rosser waist lock here. Mr. No Days Off trying to find an escape. And, and finally, he's able to yes. tag his old Nexus partner in PJ Black. 
PJ Black hammers down on top of Kratos, shocked that the big man didn't leave his feet. PJ Black again can't put Kratos down. Backflips over the back of Kratos with a spinning heel kick. Still, the big man is still on his feet. What is it gonna take to take the big man down? Oh, and they're finally able to with a forearm off the top rope. PJ Black cleaning house. Rosser was finally able to make the tag. And now going after the big man, Jared Kratos. Gotta keep an eye out for the rest of Team Filthy. Russ Taylor coming in. And a double, and a crossbody on both men. Watch out for Danny Limelight trying to sneak in. PJ Black able to catch him and catch him with that spinning DDT off the shoulders. But Kratos oh, elevates. Lifts him up like 15 feet up in the air. All the momentum that he had as a freshman just got cut short. And now Tom Lawler gets tagged in. The MMA veteran who changed careers a couple of years ago focusing on professional wrestling and has been controversy everywhere he's gone, but P.J. Black able to tag in Rocky Romero. Rocky Romero in the ring with filthy Lawler with a hurricanrana. Tries to knock uh, Craters away from his corner. And now the good guys are in there with filthy Tom Lawler. And the tide is turning. Are we going to see the forever clotheslines? Will everybody be able to get their turn in? Because it's not just about Rocky uh, Romero. It's about his part. Oh, oh wow, look at that. Fred Rosser able to get that tag. And now PJ Black. I am so impressed at what I'm seeing because I was not able to do that. It looks like Rocky Romero has learned to allow his partners to get in a piece of the action. Well, all four men want a piece of filthy Tom Lawler and the double stomp from the top. And now Fred Rosser drops the... Signature split legged stomp. Yep, and Cobb with that moonsault, the senton splash there from Rocky too, and Limelight and company coming to break it up. A succession of attacks, followed by a really cute senton by Rocky Romero. Not quite enough because the, the t filthy, Team Filthy able to break the count, and now it's Rocky Romero in the ring with Tom Lawler. Now, Ro Rocky Romero's got a little bit of MMA experience himself. Here we go, Chernoit, no. Watch out oh, for Danny Limelight, Limelight from behind. behind. Oh, Danny Limelight, kick, able blindside to. attack on Rocky Romero. PJ Black is in and he catches Limelight. Oh, and a high kick taking PJ Black down and uh, wow, just all hell has bro broken loose. I can't even call the action. Rosser there catches Kratos by surprise. But Lawler. Oh, drives that elbow down, slamming Rosser to the mat. And now it's Lawler in the ring with Rocky Romero in the corner. But Rocky able to catch him. No, Lawler catches him. Rear naked it's choke. Oh, Rocky's gone. Rock, Rock, Rock. He's, He's out. No. Oh, he's trying to go for the explosion. One, two. Oh my God. Jumping knee. With the knee. Right on the money with the jumping knee. One more forever close line. No, instead the exploder from Tom Lawler. He's not even going for the pin. He's going for that chin lock and he's able to execute it. Look at it choke Rocky out here. Rocky's going. Rocky's going to pass out. He's got the team filthy's partners got. Oh, yeah, that's it. They got Rocky's partners hooked, and Rocky with no choice Time, but to submit. 11 minutes and 42 seconds. Here are your winners, the team of Danny Limelight, J.R. Kratos, Russ Taylor, and Filthy Tom Lawler. So Team Filthy gets the win here in our tag team main event, and Rocky Romero, Cobb, Black, and Rosser, again, a great effort, but they're gonna have to come up with a different strategy if they look to overcome Team Filthy. Tom Lawler's crew gets the win. You gotta be impressed with uh, Team Filthy. I mean, uh, this faction has proven themselves to be a, a powerful force. And now with a new member and the exciting, high-flying Danny Limelight. I'm sure bitterly disappointed Rocky having to submit, but also not being able to fully get revenge on Danny Limelight who betrayed him and throwing in with Team Filthy, but I guess
You can't say that Limelight made a bad decision, can you, Kozlov? No, I mean, it, it could very well pay off for him. All right, so we'll see what happens next, folks. And we thank you for joining us. The road to detonation continues next week. Once again, your winners, the team of Danny Limelight, Russ Taylor, J.R. Kratos, and filthy Tom Lawler. Woo! Have a Miss Turner. That was nice. I knew it. That was I nice. Knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Yeah. Let's clear Smash the air. Hey, Danny, come on in. Come uh, on in, baby. Man. Tommy, Let's Tommy. clear the air. Let's uh. clear the air here. People are accusing us of being a team, using uh, numbers advantage to our advantage. That's BS. All that we're doing is taking all of our individual goals and we're putting them first. It just so happens that everybody else here likes to team up. We got factions left and right. Well, we're not a faction. We're just the best damn fighters on the roster. A real threat. What did we call yesterday? We're not a fight team, we're a fight dream. A fight dream. Oh. Fight. And you know what? You've sent Rocky to Dreamland. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't the only one, baby. My God, Kevin Kelly, what a war we witnessed. I mean, you saw Tom Lawler choke the crap out of Rocky Romero. He's still probably unconscious. Well, hopefully he can come too. But this war, I got a feeling, is far from settled. I know we were impressed with ACH winning that tag team match with Juice with that brain buster. And, of course, Clark Connors got off to a great start here. Next week, the road to detonation continues. Make sure you're with us. Alex Kozlov and Kevin Kelly. We'll see you next time on New Japan Strong.